What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Wing Aviators and a Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now today we're covering another myth slash question, it's kind of both. You know what we gotta do when we start off, so run that intro. Alright, so the myth is that you need... 20 years of experience in order to be a good martial arts fighter. You need 15 years of experience or 10 years of experience or whatever to be a legit martial artist. And guys, they're false. Don't get me wrong, I've been a victim of this myth before. I've been that guy at one point when I was in my younger years, a uh, young DJ. So, so ignorant. But guys, that's just not true. If you are training in martial arts, if you are doing your best, if you are learning martial arts, you are a martial artist. Now, that doesn't mean all martial artists are equal. It's just, that's not how this world works. Everyone is not the same. Everyone's not at the same level. Someone that's trained for five years does not know the same stuff, know as much as someone that's trained for 20 years. But that doesn't make either of them less of a martial artist, if that makes sense. Now, the question that I get pair paired with this is, how long will it take to get a black belt? How long will it, should it take for a black belt to train and be a black belt, be classified as a black belt? And I gotta tell you, that kinda depends on how often you train per week, how um, many hours you spend in the dojang, in the studio, wherever you train, how many lessons you've had, but usually what I what I go by is most schools that I've been to and that I've interacted with have a general four year plan. Depending on your age, depending on you know your learning and progression level and the, how fast you wanna progress, most people will get to Black Belt within three to five years. Three being if you're a little bit older, more experienced, five being if you're a bit younger and, and are still working to that level. Personally, I've seen a lot of schools give out black belts for, you know, two years, one year, stuff like that. And I don't think that's a lot, that's enough time to have the repetition and the practice in to be ready and be at the black belt level. That is my personal belief. However, certain schools do do that. And if that's what you're looking for, then it exists out there. However, martial arts is a personal journey. No two people are the same. So no two journeys throughout martial arts are going to be the same. People come from different backgrounds. People learn in different ways. Some people will progress faster than others. That's just how life works. And so um, it is all, as far as time to get a black belt, it is all subject to interpretation. And I advise you, keep that in mind when you're going throughout different schools, learning from different people, learning in different locations. Don't let your arrogance of how long you've trained and your rank and your experiences make you be a jerk to other people in martial arts. Because you're a jerk. You're a jerk. 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 Because here's the thing, martial arts can be a tight-knit family and a community that supports one another and helps one another. That's the community I grew up with martial arts. Or a lot of other communities out there, whether it's online or in person, can be very opinionated and exclusive and not what I think a martial arts community should be. So guys, if you agree with me, definitely let me know down in the comments whether you think martial arts should be more unified, martial artists should be more unified, or if you think was theirs is theirs, was mine is mine, and we should stay separate. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos here on this channel. And hit that like, hit that bell so you don't miss a single one. My name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.